All right, what's the consequence of adding more horsepower? Winning. My number one question that I get when I go to any kind of airfield or anytime somebody sees my airplane, what's up with no cowling? Uh, besides, I love running a hot rod and uh, that would be my typical answer. My real answer is the consequences of adding more horsepower is more heat. And this thing is freaking amazing. It started out with a normally aspirated 100 horsepower ULS. That's a carbureted motor. And I decided that's not enough. So what I wanted to do is put more juice in it. And so I added the Edge Performance fuel injection, 160 horsepower, oh, oh, oh. Uh, and what happened is my stock cowling could not handle 60% uh, more power. Um, and so it's the, the heating, basically the heating elements couldn't. So I started adding radiators and I started adding intercoolers and I started adding a bunch of other things. And sooner or later, uh, it couldn't fit in my cowling. So, uh, today I'm going to Blackfoot, Idaho, uh, to meet Joel. Um, and he is the master of all master of carbon fiber or one of them at least. And he's going to help me with my cowling, uh, fix it up, finish it up and make it pretty. Here's my, uh, here's my intercooler. It's coming off of my turbocharger. Um, and got my intake here. I've made these uh, little boost lines. Funny story about that. I lost a boost line uh, yesterday morning uh, flying into work and I went down to uh, 23 inches. I'm usually pushing max of like 46 inches on this. And uh, I'll tell you, normally aspirated sucks. Sorry guys, it just does. 23 inches, full power. So we have, um, I've got just a normal uh, 914 turbo system on it and normal heads. Actually, Jason Bissett, he, uh, uh, from Edge Performance, he um, coated these, ceramic coated the, um, the heads. So it kind of helped that, that cooling problem. Also what I did was the Rans S7 usually comes with a nice, uh, it's a smaller inner, uh, smaller oil cooler and it sits kind of like in front of your cowling. And what I did is I actually added and made it bigger by about 30 or 40% um, my oil cooler. And then what I did is I had this specially made, I had a specially made um, radiator. So uh, from Mylers here in town, and I actually have two radiators, those of you saw it. So this, there's a radiator on the bottom, uh, and then I added a radiator on the side. Um, it's about 30% uh, the size of that one, so I added another 30% on the side, and it's directly in the airflow. Um, but the thing is, it sticks out to the side. So I've got to build my cowling, my cowling right now. Uh, for those of you who know me, I've spent like a year and a half on this cowling. Um, mainly because uh, I've been doing other things, but, <laughs> and it's my, it's not my superpower. Dab a little carbon fiber to try to make the whole cowling to, to make it fit and make it right. It's not terrible. The, uh, it just needs some work on it. Um, I kind of gave up and was like, well, I better have a professional do it. Uh, I honestly got tired of working with carbon fiber and I just wanted to fly an airplane because that's what I do. And so... That cowling right here is going to somehow fit in my airplane while I travel up to Idaho because I want to make a three-piece cowling. So that bottom cowling obviously will go on the bottom, top will go on the top, and I want a third piece Boss 4-1 hood scoop on the side and it's going to take it the inlet in and out. But with that three-piece cowling it's going to kind of make it all one uniform cowling and uh, and to make it a little bit wider. Ultimately, that is the cost of adding more horsepower besides uh, winning or trying to win. Um, it, 
it's 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 really awesome. Um, I'm going to I'm going to finish up this cowling um, with Joel, um, send it out there, and have him finish it up, and so it'll make it nice and pretty. Um, she'll still be named the hot rod, uh, even though she'll have a cowling on it. Um, but it'll clean up my airspeed a little bit. I should gain that five miles an hour, 10 miles an hour back that I lost. Um, and uh, I probably won't have as many people come up to my airplane and say, hey, what's going on with that motor? <laughs> I swear, there's always like 10 people around my airplane. I'm like, oh yeah, they like my airplane. Oh no, no they're just looking at the engine. <laughs> Wondering what's going on. <laughs> Nothing's going on besides more horsepower. All right, the one problem I have with trying to fit a cowling, the width of my airplane, into my airplane in the back is that it's the width of my airplane. So I feel like what I'm gonna have to do is take out my rear stick um, so it doesn't impede as I'm flying. So two sticks, I'm gonna have to take that out to fit these big boys in. Alright, just kidding. That's going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. This, uh, my rear stick is actually connected to my elevator. So to remove this section uh, would remove my whole elevator. And I hear that's kind of important. So I gotta figure something else out. We'll see. Zip ties are my friend. So I'm going to kind of zip tie this new payload down make sure that uh, I can have my control surfaces free and correct. That would not be good. So, gotta make sure it's secure before I take off. Hey Jason, come on over and say hi. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, what do you think of my uh, transportation idea? That's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, all free and correct. Just the way we like it. Uh, that little stick back there is important uh, for it to be moving nice and freely, uh, or the airplane uh, stops going the direction I want it to. So uh, that was important to tie it all down. All right, let's see if this works. Oh yeah. For those of you that are not familiar with Rotex, you have to burp it. Basically, uh, you have to pull the oil through the sump and through the case and then it's, uh, you burp it through, you know, getting air through it. So kind of pumps the oil in before you start it. So gives you a little bit longer lasting motor. And also you can check your oil. I'm gonna add just a ditch. Alright, so I seem to fit. Control surfaces are good. Um, I moved it forward about an inch or so, so it's a little tighter for me, but it should, it should work out. Let's start this thing and head to Idaho.
one last good control check. Oh yeah. Alright, good to go. All set. Let's go to Idaho. I see a lovely bunch of coconuts, pretty all standing in a row. Big one, small one, some as big as your head. We are almost there. No, I don't have hypoxia. I'm just bored out of my mind. Not really. I'm flying airplanes. Well, I love Idaho. And I love Utah. Both are freaking awesome, but if you guys can see that behind me, it is freaking gorgeous. That's what it's all about. Big mountains, vast areas of land around here. Uh, I gotta get up here more often. Well, I'm here at Joel's place. Hey Joel, how you doing? Fantastic. So, we made it. Getting out of the airplane now. All the baggage slash cowling made it alive. I was two inches shorter with that seat, but I still made it. And now I'm with my favorite person. How's it going, Joel? Hi. <laughs> so what do you think? We think uh, we can make this nice and pretty? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. Let's uh, let's put we her inside. Let's see what we can do. All right, now the fun times. We get to take the cowling out. A lot easier going out than it is going in. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I think, I think the biggest thing is like if we're trying to get it to flow out evenly yep. everywhere. Yep. Get yeah. it to flow out and get it to be sealed, yeah. right? So I've got a little bit of sealant. You might you might need more or different okay. material, um, but the biggest thing is make the cowling go on easy, um, make it relatively easy for these guys to come off, okay. and make it pretty. <laughs> Kind of made it somewhat. So are you that trying direction. to get this a little more sealed here too? Yes, absolutely. So this is all just so, coming into that. Yes. And it's sealed coming out here too. Yes. So, so no air can get inside the. Exactly. Okay. So basically, I'm not married to this NACA. Okay. So if we want to, and I'm not married to this that's at all, change. right? So that's where the exhaust is going to come out. Right. Is right here. Okay. Now, if this could, this doesn't have to be a NACA. It could be almost a. Kind of a like a round scoop or whatever you want to do okay. um, but i think the biggest thing is when we put this on is to make it seal here right seal yeah. here seal here so it's going to be kind of a yeah. weird jagged this, this is all gonna this from here on is just gonna stick out there won't be anything next time i'm back here this should be even prettier all right so i've got to take the long way home uh, something with four wheels and no wings. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is really acceptable, but that's what's gonna happen uh, So I'm dropping it off here uh, with Joel and it uh, Should be good. I'm, I'm excited for him to have his handiwork in it uh, It'll be really nice to get a cowling on that airplane uh, Smooth that all out and make it look nice. So we'll see you guys on the road. driving going back from Idaho flying is a lot easier and a lot more fun than driving Bill said it'll take about uh, a week two weeks so yeah it'll be uh, it'll be good to kind of get back there and kind of see his magic work um, well anyway uh, if you like this video give me a, give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already subscribed and uh, we'll see you on the next one
Grazie. I see a lovely bunch of coconuts, fiddly dee, all standing in a row. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. 